Okay, here's the fifth and final video in the REI standard that's reasoning with equations and inequalities. Basically, it's solving quadratic equations. This is the fifth video. Um, this is the problem solving thing for the review for the Math 2 final for the second semester of spring 2019. All disclaimers, or these videos all have a disclaimer. This list of to topics and videos is not all inclusive of all the concepts you're responsible for studying for for the final. Now, let's look at a slightly different iteration on the problem solving part. Here you have two different tires for a tire company. They're just asking you what two quantities result in zero profit. So we're just trying to solve these two equations. Okay, let's go back and think about what were the three basic ways to solve in the most efficient methods. We should always try first, let me get this on the screen, always try first zero factor and zero product property. If that doesn't work, bleh, gee, complete the square. And if that doesn't work, your last resort is quadratic formula. So let's see, we're going to set these both equal to zero. Let's see if these factor. Boys and girls, when you see a number out in front, I want you to try to get rid of that as a GCF. If I divide by negative 2 on all these terms, it just becomes x squared minus 13x plus 40. What two numbers add up to negative 30 but multiply to 40? Isn't that minus 8 and minus 5? Oh, that's nice. So this factors very quickly into x minus 8 and x minus 5. Our solutions are at x equals 8 and 5. That those amount of thousands of tires from the question, that's when we're going to make zero profit. Huh, that's kind of cool. What about this one? When you see this negative, what should you do? You say factor out the negative. Factor out the negative. Factor out the negative. So I'm going to make it x squared minus 20x and minus 100. What two numbers add up to negative 20 but multiply to negative 100? Anybody? Is there anything? Is it negative 10 and negative 10? Isn't it supposed to be negative 100, though? Did I write down the wrong equation? <laughs> well, is there any numbers? How about, wait a minute, what about 24, what about 25 and 4, 25 and 5? No, that doesn't work. Anything else work? Anything else multiply to get 100? So this looks like factoring is not going to work, so what do I need to do now? Complete the square. Minus 20x. Let's see. Let's make this back to plus 100 equals 0. Let's complete the square. x minus 10 quantity squared plus 100. Am I adding 100 to this? No, I'm adding a negative 100. I'm still trying to solve for this, so it's equal to negative 200. I want to bring that to that side. Divide by that negative 1 equals 200. So what's, this, what's the square root of 200? That's going to be 100 times 2, right? Which is 10 rad 2. Ugh, this looks ugly. x minus 10 equals 0, plus or minus 10 rad 2. And then that's your roots right there. 10 plus or minus 10 rad 2. Yay, stop in that video.